Well, history is coming back to life thanks to the passion of a Boise man. The Rescued Film Project is developing pictures, some dating back more than 60 years all the way into World War II. On your side, photojournalist Eric Turner tonight introduces us to the man behind the Rescued Film and why he's made it his mission to save these forgotten photos. One, rule 6, this is rule 17, this is rule 23, and this one says Lucky Strike Beach, Boston Harbor, start of train trip, roll of French funeral, 1947. This one was wrapped in some kind of a letter. I've always had a lonesome life, dreaming of success and love. It looks like there's a family posing with their dog, like a family portrait, a young boy and maybe his mom. So the Rescue Film Project started probably about a year and a half ago. And some people originally thought it was kind of weird, I guess. Um, but ever since it's really taken off and taken shape, people realize what the project is and what the goal is. And they've just been, there's just been this like huge outpouring of support and donations and thank yous and emails. So I'm going to get the water to 68 degrees, which is the temperature that you develop most black and white film. The whole goal of the Rescued Film Project is to get these images out into the public and have people view them so that they can start researching them. There are like three things that happen in film developing. It's agitation, tapping, and pouring out water. Yeah, these are light-proof tanks, which allow if you load the film in the dark, but these tanks allow you to develop film in the straight light like this, which is another great reason that you can do this in your kitchen. That is still running from yesterday, 21 hours later. You've got this little thing on top and you can turn the film in there. And what it's doing is it's turning the film like this on this big spool and that gets the chemicals over all the film evenly. I'm the first person who's ever seen this image and now you're the second person who's ever seen this picture, ever. It's crazy. The end result is what, what always makes it worth it and it's what always kind of keeps my passion going, if that makes sense, because I never know what I'm going to pull out of that tank, and, but it's, it's always astounding to me. And it's interesting, it looks like a bunch of s shots of the circus. It does kind of just clear your mind, you know, because sitting here for 30 minutes and you're, forced to, and you're forced to focus on this one thing so continuously that you can't go leave for more than 30 seconds because you've got to come back every 30 seconds. I don't see myself ever stopping. As long as there's film out there, uh, I'm going to be rescuing it.